Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of August. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not, um, it may or it may not resonate with you. If um, if this doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, um, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So my little dog is over here in the corner. <laughs> kind of eh, just on the edge of being in the reading. <laughs> he was sleeping on the deck of cards a minute ago. All right. <laughs> so sorry anyway for any interruptions. All right, so let's begin somebody close to you in your community um, you want to there's a longing here you want to reach out to this person but uh, but you feel it might not be a, a good idea at this time Oof, there's a tender spot here with this person um, and uh, six of swords is telling me here that it feels like um, it 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 might not be a good idea because it's feeling risky to uh, you or to them, whoever's energy this is. So they may want to reach out to you, but they're feeling it's risky. Um, it feels like uh, somebody, um, somebody feels like there's mystery here, uh, something that's unsolved or... Or something they can't see and because they can't see it that's where the risk comes seeking clarity when they look out over their kingdom or their community um, they envision you in it and they want that clarity. They want to know if you are going to be in it. That's what is at this root. But they would need, because I see the lion here, they would need the courage to step up and take that journey. Something's holding them back. Fear, perhaps. There's the nine of swords here. Fear of failure. Fear of something not getting off the ground, fear of themselves once again being hurt. It feels like there was uh, Ace of Pentacles at one time in the past. It it was like a false start. And there's got, this person's got these demons, uh, inner demons, um, telling them that the same thing might happen again. So oop, it's risky. Doesn't feel like it might be a good idea, you see. So it's previous experiences that have set them up to think this way. This person has something to tell you. Perhaps it's a new offer. Perhaps they would like to express how they feel. Perhaps it's an apology. In the past, there was a confrontation over uh, a vision for the future. So clearly, uh, Clearly, somebody put the other one on the spot. It's like, stop. I want the truth about this. This Four of Wands, which is what I desire. I desire it, but I'm standing on the outside looking in. Oh, I've <laughs> got a dog here coming out. I want the truth. <clears throat> Maybe that's that's what they they would like to do. Maybe they would like to have um, some information and explanation. One minute, I'll just put my dog down. I'll be right back. Sorry. I feel like this is possibly what happened. Somebody couldn't... Somebody was carrying a lot of burdens having to do with a vision for the future, whether perhaps it was true or false. 
because they couldn't uh, find a way to lay those burdens down. So they may have taken a stand. They thought, yep, yeah, something wasn't fair. They took a decision not to move forward with the chariot. And so uh, a reunion, possibly, or uh, a meeting, it didn't go the way they wanted, really, or for, for that matter, the way you wanted it. But they're haunted by it, you see. They're haunted by an ending or perhaps words that were spoken with the ghost and the knife. With the knife, something was cut out. Um, <clears throat> they're haunted by that. They're haunted by perhaps a decision memories of the past and what they want with the doll is just to go back to the way things were but they're they can't get out of their head they can't get out of their head they're dissecting the future possibilities of what may or may not ever occur a lot of negative thinking and we see that with this uh, Nine of Swords being here <clears throat> repeatedly. They're not really interested in anybody else. You are the one they want. It's clear this ended badly in the past because somebody suspected that there was a deception and they were guarding themselves, so to speak, feeling very much on edge. There's that darn nine of swords again. So this is somebody who uh, has been doing a, a lot of thinking, imagining the worst. Here we see it over here again, imagining the worst, right? Dissecting every little detail of a possible future that may or may not ever occur thinking the worst. There's something they're not seeing. There's something they're not seeing possibly about why uh, the chariot didn't move forward in the past. Um, or there's, they want this person, they really want this, they might feel uh, that they're out of chances, possibly. They're standing in the choppy water, wanting to get out, wanting to climb on board, but it again feels risky. And that it might be a bad idea because they're missing information and they can't see, they can't see where this boat is heading. So they can't, it's like, well, I don't have any guarantee that if I, <laughs> if I get in that boat with you, uh, that it's going to move to calmer waters. We might get out into the middle of the water and sink, you know. So this person imagines the worst. And, you know, it seems to be like it could be a pattern with this person, a negative thinking, I mean, not trusting. They don't trust easy. And this, again, is because of past experiences this person has had that maybe the wound still bleeds because they are wounded here. But um, so they're not trusting it, right? And they feel that, well, if I just, if I take that action, if I reach out to that person, which is what I want here with the rabbit for sure, um, that it's going to lead to failure. That, that the boat's going to get to the middle of that pond or lake or whatever and it's going to just, it's going to, it's going to sink. So it's like a, 
there's you know i mean it could be also that there's regret here regret and they're they're carrying it's like enduring pain you know and um let's see here yeah they did something rash here it's just it's repeating the same message here okay so they're afraid it's it feels risky it feels like it could be a bad idea but they're tempted to do it anyway mm -hmm. they're they're thinking of letting the guard down letting the guard down and coming forward and I, I honestly I feel this is what they're going to do but you know they may come in and they may be somewhat guarded until they ease into the conversation and feel a little more comfortable because in in the uh, we know how their mind is working right this they can't get this bad these bad thoughts um, out of their mind So they're either coming forward to offer you some kind of clarity or to seek it. Or you know what? Maybe even both. Maybe they will off offer you clar clarity, but they are also seeking some answers. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.